The Unity Spring Sale is here, and I have found 10 Unity assets that will save you over 500 hours of development time. As developers, every minute we spend coding basic systems is time that we could be spending creating amazing experiences. I've tested out a number of these assets in my own projects, and some of these assets have actually caught my eye, and I might buy them myself. If you value your time like I value mine, consider checking these top picks, and of course, my affiliate links can be found in the description below. They don't cost you anything extra, but it does help support more content like this. So thank you so much. Now, the first one I want to talk about is the flat kit tune shading and water. Standing out visually is crucial in today's crowded game market, and the flat kit lets you create a distinct art style without having to hire specialized shading developers. Now, Developing these kind of shaders could take hundreds of hours, and this does it all for you. I bought this shader during the last sale because I couldn't resist the visuals that it was able to produce. This is a complete cell shading solution that gives you stylized visuals with minimal setup. It includes outline effects, gradient fog, specialized water shaders that bring a little personality into your project, you know, a little more flair and pizzazz. All you have to do is apply the shaders to your materials, adjust the parameters through some intuitive interfaces and then instantly transform your game's look. I've used this in some stylized VR projects before. It does help add a little more pop to your game. I mean, the stylized water shader alone makes this pack worth it in my opinion. And if you're wondering what it's compatible with, it's both compatible with built-in and URP, but not HDRP. Also compatible with 2020, 2021, 2022, and the newest Unity 6 engine. And as I mentioned before, I have used it in VR projects, and that's because it does a allow for VR and AR full XR support. Now, Bakery is another one that I purchased in the past because, well, I'm a bit of a optimization and baking nerd, and I wanted to try someone else's baking solution. Now, when it comes to lighting in your game, it can make or break immersion, especially for VR developers where people tend to notice every single detail. Bakery is a GPU accelerated light mapper that generates light maps two to 10 times faster than Unity's built-in system. Although I love Unity's built-in system and it's continued to improve, Bakery takes it a step further. It produces higher quality lighting with features like directional light maps, volumetric lighting, and light leaking prevention. All you have to do is set up some lighting in your scene, click bake, and then watch as Bakery utilizes your GPU to dramatically speed up the process. Your lighting iterations that used to take hours now might even take a few minutes. Now, if you're happy with Unity's light baking, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you wanted to try something out new by someone else, I would say give Bakery a shot. I've used it myself and it is very, very good. If you want even further proof how good it is, it's been used in Call of Duty Mobile. It's been used in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And for my VR developers, it's also been used in Dead and Buried 2. So outside of me using it, other major teams are using it as well. Next up, we have an asset that caught my eye. Now, I already have way too many low poly assets, but I can't seem to resist buying them. Now this one's a little pricey, but what you get with it, now what you get with it is thousands and thousands of 3D models for you to use in whatever games you want to make. Even if you don't know what game you're gonna make right now, this is probably gonna have you covered in the future. Now, according to the asset creators, all of these models are optimized for performance. I mean, just clicking around through some of these pictures and seeing all of the models that you're given, like, like any one of these, would take you hundreds, if not thousands of hours to recreate on your own, and they look really good. Low poly games never really go out of style, in my opinion. Listening to the most recent Code Monkey on whether or not users or people who play ga your games care if you're using assets from the asset store, they really typically don't. You just need to make a good game around the assets that you use. Don't just be lazy throwing some things and push out whatever game. If you make a good enough game, people don't care what assets you use. They're just happy you've made a great game. So if you don't have any massive amounts of models for you at your disposal, consider picking up this pack. Remember when I said that I was a sucker for lighting or anything that has to do with light? Well, we have one called Ethereal URP ERP for volumetric lighting and fog. What this provides 
provides is realistic volumetric lighting and atmospheric effects in the universal render pipeline. It simulates light scattering through particles in the air, creating god rays, realistic fog, and enhanced environmental lighting. I'm going to give you a warning. I know I primarily do VR and AR tutorials and applications. This has not been tested for VR or AR yet, so I haven't purchased this. I don't know if it would work in it, and it might be too graphics intensive for the Quest 3, but regardless, this channel isn't just about doing VR and AR. I just love covering game development, and I mean, I do love lighting in general, and this is an asset that has me very, very interested to see what I could do with it, whether or not it's for a VR application or just a game. So if you've ever wanted to have volumetric lighting and fog and see particles and god rays, consider picking this guy up. Just keep in mind, it might not be optimized enough for VR. Now this next one I'm gonna talk about is a physics-based character controller. And the developer for this one actually reached out to me, gave me a key to test out, and I have to say, it is a very nice character controller. Now I wouldn't advise you using this quite yet when it comes to VR or AR games, but if you did want to make a physics-based platformer, then I do think you should check out this Traversal Pro made by Josh. Now some nice things about Traversal Pro is any rigid bodies in your scene, if they are kinematic or dynamic, they can act as platforms. If those objects happen to move or rotate while your character's on top of them, then your character's also going to rotate automatically without any extra setup. Now, if you need more customization with this, good news for you there, because most of the references are done via interfaces so in, instead of concrete classes. That means you're able to swap out custom classes that implement the same interface. So whatever fine tuning that you might need to do with this asset, you're you're able to do. So if you've ever considered making a physics-based platformer, then consider checking out this asset. Even if this asset doesn't call out to you, you should still check out Jaws's channel here because they've just started producing some videos and tutorials. They got two out right now. And I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with his first few tutorials here. Make sure to check out his channel, especially this new video that he produced on better camera controls. He's very thorough and goes into the code and I, I just like his style. So good on you, Josh. I hope your channel does as well and congratulations on your asset. Now we're going to move on to more VR specific assets and the first one I want to start off with is portals for VR. Now I've talked about this one in the past and I think when I originally bought it it was like 20 or 40 bucks but it has gone up in price significantly and that's because it just continues to fine-tune itself and then also grow out its functionality. Now we have kind of like non-Newtonian physics looking portals. I mean, this thing just continues to get better and better and better, and it solves a problem that's really difficult in VR, which is, well, teleporting. Because if you teleport, sometimes one eye isn't quite matching up with what it should do, and it can get really disoriented. But this aims to perfect that. As you can see, you have smooth clipping, and it kind of fades away while you're going through the portal, which is exactly what you would expect through this functionality, and that takes some hard work and dedication. This isn't exactly a entire toolkit, but this does matter master portals in VR. And this person has taken, I'm sure hundreds, if not thousands of hours of work and distilled it down for you and makes portals perfect in virtual reality. So if you've ever wanted to do portals in virtual reality, honestly, I don't think you should do it yourself. You should just buy this asset and get going making the best game possible. Now, not to talk too much about Tom, but Tom's also made another very good application specifically for VR when it comes to mirrors and reflections. And I know I've mentioned this before, but it's really good. And there's not many assets that perfect things in VR quite like the mirrors and reflection asset. I mean, if his portals asset is anything to prove, this guy, knows how to optimize very key things in VR for us. And this reflection asset can even make water and puddle reflections look good without totally breaking your optimization. I mean, mirrors are very, very intensive when it comes to VR or honestly any application, but especially in VR. And this asset for 20 bucks will give you that a power and ability without you having to tweak and perfect everything yourself. So save a few hours and consider picking this one up too. Now, the last three I am going to mention is 
I, I have to mention them every single one because, well, I do VR development, and if you haven't picked up any of these, you should strongly consider it. The first one's going to be Final Line K, which stands for Inverse Kinematics, and what that does is it makes your 3D models move and animate like they should while you're moving around your arms, controllers, and headset. It's all done through Inverse Kinematics. Figuring this out on your own is a huge pain in the butt, and you should just really save yourself that pain and just use this asset. It's used in Dead and Buried, which is a very successful VR application. And Final IK has kind of become the asset that is like the gold standard for inverse kinematics in Unity. So if you've ever wanted to provide full-bodied inverse kinematics in your VR or AR experiences, then yeah, pick this guy up. And the last two I'm going to mention because they're on sale are totally different toolkits. If you don't want to use the XR Interaction Toolkit because it's too bare bones and doesn't have everything you need, then consider picking up one of these other solutions available to you. There's Hurricane VR which has physics interactions. You have bows and arrows, you can stab things, you can shoot this bow, you can break bottles, you have guns, you have a very smooth far away grab to make the gun fly towards your hand. I mean, it's pretty feature complete. So if you want to save time and not implement all that yourself using the XR Interaction Toolkit, you can grab this for 35 bucks. Another one you might want to consider is Auto Hand. Now Auto Hand specializes in custom hand positioning and modeling. So if you really want to have that immersive experience when you grab an object and it feels like you've actually grabbed this object and have dynamic grabbing, then get Auto Hand. It's another very feature complete toolkit for you to use and utilize, and I'll save you literally hundreds of hours. You know, I've talked about these a million times, so I'm not gonna go too deep into it. Just consider it, it's 45 bucks, and the Hurricane VR is 35 bucks if you want to try out a new toolkit. I think I've rambled on enough. Please check out my affiliate links down below if any one of these catches your fancy. Make sure to check out any of the flash sales, which gets 70% off, and just check in. It's the spring sale. If you've been meaning to grab some of these assets and have been waiting for the next big sale, it's here. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.